You guys remember Where's Waldo, right? It's a series of picture books depicting a ton of people doing various things at random locations. The objective of each page of the book was to find the titular Waldo, who would be hiding amongst the crowd with his iconic red and white striped shirt, glasses, and pom-pom hat. You could spend a lot of time on just a single picture, but when you do find Waldo, it feels nice. Like you completed a scavenger hunt and you found buried treasure. As a kid, I only had one Where's Waldo book which mainly stayed in my grandparents' house, so I didn't get to view it that much. I'm more nostalgic about the I Spy books to be honest. But we're here to talk about video games, not books. Where's Waldo has seen quite a number of video games over the years, but the most infamous one was released on the NES in 1991, developed by freaking Bethesda of all companies. All of this just works. It's not, I'm not kidding. Now how the hell are you supposed to take this and cram it into an NES cartridge? Well, I'll tell you. You don't. Starting up the game, you pick between easy, medium, or hard. I chose medium cause... I don't know, why not? After that selection, you get a cutscene of Waldo walking towards the first stage, and then... What the fuck is this? I guess this is how you put Waldo on the NES. Make it look like complete shit and have no discernible things in the picture. How the hell are you supposed to find Waldo in this jumbled mass of pixels? Where is Waldo? Is he here? No. Maybe he's over here. No. What about over here? Nope. Well, crap. I ran out of time. Well, gee, how am I supposed to find him? Everybody looks like Waldo. I think I'll switch to easy mode for the rest of the game. The difference between each mode is that you have more time and the screens are much smaller. This time I just randomly clicked on the screen until I found him. Well, I guess that crushed stick figure is Waldo. Poor guy. He's seen better days. The next level is the same thing. Waldo was a bit easier to spot here because he kind of stuck out with his red outline. And the third level is a cave. What? How the hell am I supposed to find Waldo in here? It's pitch black. Well, I'll give you the answer. He'll flash on the screen for a split second and then you gotta press B on top of him. You take control of Waldo and you leave the cave. You can also pick up this hourglass piece here which could either give you more time or you could lose time. Next level is the same as the first two, there's not really much to say, it's a little bit harder to find Baldo here because there's a lot of red striped, white striped things around, but it wasn't too challenging. The level afterwards though, oh, that's, this is where it gets bad. What the hell is this, a circuit minigame? From looking at the screen, I assume the objective is to grab the Waldo icon and make it to the other side, traveling along the circuits. There's also this, like, evil Waldo, which will drain time if you land on him. And there's also these sunglasses, which, um... I don't know, they're just sunglasses. I don't think they do anything. I really had no clue what to do here, and I kept getting game overs. I even got a path where I was unable to pass the first section. Like, are you serious? Why can't I pass through here? Did the RNG really screw me up? That's not fair. Well, I learned on my fourth attempt that's not exactly how it plays out. During one of my attempts, I press the A button, which turns the path of each circuit. Well, gee, thanks for telling me this vital information. I really appreciate it, game. I know it probably says it in the manual, but I don't have one of those. And who reads the manual anyway? You know, after getting a bunch of game overs, the game starts to become stupidly easy. After a few attempts, I started to figure out what Waldo looked like and I was able to breeze through these stages with no issue. After spending the most time in the circuit stage, you get another traditional stage. It's not much to talk about here, it's just a castle stage. And then the final level is a slot machine where you need to match three Waldos. So, it's not that hard. Afterwards, Waldo gets sent to the moon and uh, does whatever he's going to do up there. He just kind of just jumps around. And that's the whole game. Just to fill you in, my entire recording session was only 20 minutes long, and the final attempt only took me five and a half minutes. Are you kidding me? I never played this game before this review, and that is pathetic. Imagine back in 1991 you bought this game brand new for $60, and you beat it in 20 minutes. That's completely inexcusable nowadays. The only replay value is playing on a harder difficulty where you'll get less time and a bigger screen, but you honestly wouldn't want to sit through this crap again. 
especially knowing that during the scenes where Waldo is moving to the next area, your timer is still ticking down. So what, you can lose when you're not playing? That's not fair. Overall, the gameplay was just brainless. For the time, it was a somewhat decent attempt to port the game on the console, but it just failed completely. The graphics are the main problem. Most of the time, you can't even tell who Waldo is supposed to be. I was able to pass levels just by randomly clicking on the screen, and it didn't even look like Waldo in most of those attempts. Once you do figure out what Waldo looks like, the game becomes way too easy and you can pretty much speedrun the whole thing. The other game types like the circuit minigame was completely unnecessary. It just wasted time and it wasn't fun to play. There's no background music during any of the stages. The only music is on the title screen, the map, and the ending scene. I really think they should have just waited till the next generation of consoles to try and make a Where's Waldo game. Which they did on the Super Nintendo. I never played it, but I've seen a little bit of gameplay of it, and it doesn't look that bad. But on the NES, you really shouldn't have put it on here. To end this review, I shall quote Kenshin from a Tats Top video. Where's Waldo, you might ask? To answer, nobody really gives a shit.